Uh, hello. Um, uh, it's been a while since I put a video up, but I just feel like the Holy Spirit wants me to say something. So I'm going to talk. Like, I, there's so many times I wanted to make a video about my testimony, but um, there's just so many things, and it's kind of hard, honestly. Um, but what I will talk about is, uh, well, that's something I talk about a lot, but I think that if you want breakthrough, number one, you've got to learn to love your enemies, to love, uh, to love one another. And that comes from spending time with God. And he promises that if you abide, if you stay with him, like Jesus said, you will bear fruit. And what is the fruit that he's talking about? The fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And... Um, and that's the goal. Uh, we want to bear fruit. But there is this uh, other thing I wanted to mention. Um, Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. And the disciples thought he was talking about bread. He's like, you think I'm talking about bread? He said, no, um the leaven of the Pharisees, leaven representing sin, is hypocrisy. So, Jesus, uh, at one point in the gospel, he says, every sin that men shall commit, it will be forgiven them, except the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But Jesus warned about hypocrisy and he warned the pharisees at one point like as they were speaking he's like you gotta be careful you know he's talking about blasphemy in the holy spirit because they were accusing him of casting out demons uh with the devil's help and he's like uh, be you know either be careful or they maybe they cross the line but the point is jesus said that um and this is a part of just the beautiful assurance man he said that if you forgive other people of their sins, he guarantees the Lord said when Jesus says something, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. He said, if you forgive others of their sin, you yourself will be forgiven. And it's not even it's not because of yourself. Um Jesus's blood, Jesus's sacrifice. Um, he can give, he can forgive anybody that he wants to. He told the Pharisees when he was like, son, your sins are forgiven you. And they're like, who is this blasphemer? <laughs> and then he goes, um, it would have been, you know, you know, he's like, what's harder for me to say your sins are forgiven or get up? take up your mat and go home. But he's like, I wanted you to know. I could have said, get up and take take up your mat and go home. Get up and go. But I wanted you to know. Like, and he took the path of more resistance because he wanted them to know that Jesus has the power to forgive sins. And think about this. This is what it says in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. There's this one time I asked the Lord, I said, Lord God, after talking to my brother, because my brother's an atheist and we, de we used to debate a lot, but he's like, um, basically, and I understood where he was coming from, he basically thinks this way, right? It, to the crooked, God is going to seem crooked. He He's like, God is evil how can god be good rather because of all the suffering and all the bad things that happen uh, on earth 
And I was just like, Lord, this is what people think. This is like the common mindset. I've heard a lot of things about it, but I was like, Lord God, can you tell me like your perspective? And I went to sleep that night, man. I had a dream that a plane, like a plane full of people just nose dived into the ocean and only the tail end of the plane was sticking up out of the water. It was like all those people on the tail end of the plane. If you sectioned off plane, you have the, the um, I don't even know what they're called, the first class seats or whatever. And then as you go further back, it's like, you know, less privileged. And that seems to be it's like the way of the world, right? First seat to the last seat. But the tail was sticking up out of the water. And it seemed like everybody that didn't sink into the water, they managed to survive. They got out of the plane. But everybody down deep, I remember looking in there and I'm just like, I was like, I could save somebody, but if I go down there, like I might not come back up. But so in the dream, so that's what happened. And then I woke up and I was just like, oh, that's what he means. I mean, the world is nose diving. Like the world is condemned already. That's why Jesus said, look, if you don't believe in me, you are, con you're condemned already because you don't believe in the son of God who takes away sin, who chooses to have mercy on whom he wills and who will he have mercy on the merciful for sure. That came out of Jesus's mouth. Blessed are the merciful for they will obtain mercy. Yeah. And this is why we shouldn't be quick to judge other people. Because in the same way that we judge, God is going to measure that back at us. Therefore, don't judge. Okay? And I'm telling you, if you start, man, and I know that God has to reveal this stuff. You got to learn to forgive. And it comes from looking at the son of God. And if you look at him and you keep looking, you'll see. He forgave you for so much and he offers you so much and he loves you. Man, I don't even want to go there. That's a whole different thing. I mean, based on what he's told me, I know I can't be the only person that the Lord loves. He showed me, man, and I'm telling you. I think that's why Paul was so like he wanted them to know how much Jesus, how much the Lord God Almighty loves his people. I just, yeah, I try to keep these videos like under 10 minutes for some reason. I don't even know, but yeah, that's my goal because I guess I don't want it to be too long. I have a small attention span sometimes, so I hate to, you know, plague somebody like-minded that, you know, maybe I could share something with. Look, I'm telling you, Jesus said, if you love your enemies, then you will be sons of your father in heaven, who makes the sun rise on the good and on the bad and on the just and the unjust. God bless you guys. I love you.